got a quick video here with a couple of KC calculations. So the first one is where we're going to calculate the value for KC, the equilibrium constant, for this equilibrium system here. But given the concentrations of everything at equilibrium, and we just have to calculate the value for this. So if you think you know what to do, have a go, pause the video, and then play on and I'll go through the answers. So first thing, write the KC expression. Remember, if KC essentially is the equilibrium concentration of the products divided by the reactants, and where you've got numbers balancing the equation, like this two here, it becomes a power. So we just substitute the numbers in, those equilibrium concentrations, and that gives us an answer for Kc of 18.3. And you can see I've typed in that there are no units for Kc, and I'll just quickly explain why. Whatever you do to the numbers, these remember these are all moles per decimeter cubed, to get the units we do the same but with the units. So we've got moles per decimeter cubed squared on the top, and essentially we've got moles per decimeter cubed squared on the bottom. So they will all cancel, leaving no units. And the second one is slightly different. We aren't calculating Kc, we've got that. We're going to calculate the equilibrium concentration of the ammonia, given these two concentrations. So again, if you think you know what to do, have a go, and then I'll go through the answers. So just like before, KC expression first. We need to rearrange this to get the ammonia concentration as the subject of the equation. So the hydrogen concentration cubed goes up to the top there and multiplies, as does the nitrogen concentration. So the NH3 concentration squared equals this. And then we need to square root that because this is the NH3 concentration squared, but we actually want the actual concentration of the ammonia. So we square root that. And that gives us an equilibrium concentration of 0 0.00269 moles per decimeter cubed. 